Ooh, time to go to the movies maybe a little bit, huh? I like, you know, I had initially, I was planning on going this past Monday. There was a premiere for this uh, movie locally, and I missed it. Yep. And I'm sad. You know, once you get back to the movie theater, you remember why you used to go to the movie theater. Exactly. You know? And there's certain movies you should see in a movie theater. And I remember when I first started doing this business, interviewing movie stars and going to movies, it was back around 1986 or so. Actually, I did, I did reviews before that, but in 1986, I started doing some interviews. And one of the very first interviews I did was Tom Cruise for a little movie called Top Gun. Are you serious? That was one of your first that ones? That was one of my first ones. Robin Williams was my first interview ever. How cool is yeah. that? Yeah, yeah. And did he have his aviators on back then for the interview? Do you remember? You know, he always had a big plan. He always he always was sort of in control, even when he was a, young, a youngster, you know. And he said so when he made talented. that very first movie about the military school he was in with a whole bunch of other guys, young guys, he said uh, he knew this is what he wanted to do. And he believed that uh, there are not great movies out there when you see a script, but there are great roles. And if you play the role great and make it a great role, you could turn it into a great movie. And that's what he said he did with the first Top Gun. So he's been wanting to do this one for a long time. So it's here, it's called Top Gun Maverick. Let's take a look. What the hell? Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. It was more than 36 years ago, Tom Cruise cemented his superstar status as Top Gun's Maverick. His need for speed remains unquenched. Explosive and every bit as good as the original, and taking it to the next level, Top Gun Maverick was worth the wait. Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell. Let me be perfectly blunt. You are not my first choice. You were here at the request of Admiral Kazansky, AKA Iceman. He seems to think that you have something left to offer the Navy. What that is, I can't imagine. With all due respect, sir, I'm not a teacher. My whole life, since I was four, I wanted to make movies. And I remember being on the set of Taps and thinking, you know, if I can make movies the rest of my life, I'd be so happy. So it's kind of amazing. It's surreal. It's, I don't know, it's surreal that here we are and I'm, I'm doing this. And it's surreal that it's Top Gun Maverick. 36 years, I'll hold that for you. I got it. I got you. I got you. Okay. <laughs> 36 years later, and here we are. It's surreal. I'm just, I'm just no, nothing else to say. Like, Jeez. Having any fun yet? Okay, it was always there. Everywhere I traveled around the world, they wanted a sequel, and it was just never right. It's just the story wasn't right, but I'd lay there in bed, and I, I'm constantly thinking about stories, and I was like, okay, what if, how? And I was waiting for technology to be able to catch up to some of the things that I wanted to accomplish, because in the first one, I flew in the F-14. We had a camera that had five minutes of film, and I would turn it on and off. We're going into combat on a level no living pilot's ever seen. Not even him. You think up there you're dead. Believe me. It just came together. And it just was like, okay, it is now or never. And I felt like the challenge is there and maybe we can figure this out. Someone's not coming back from this. Those are your pilots. Anything happens to them. It's technically challenging. It's emotionally, you know, how do you, how do you create a story like this and constantly find the tone um, throughout? It was, it was challenging on every, I have to say, on every single level. So to hear the audience's response, and it's really very special. So what's your first reaction to that? He is, when you go to a movie, you go and you realize, okay, these things are part of a movie. This isn't really real. But when you go to a Tom Cruise movie, you know, him being in those fighter jets, it's real. He yeah. takes it up to another level that his commitment to being an actor and creating movies is unlike anything else I think out there. Yeah, my wife came away, she was like, wow. He's not only cute. <laughs> it's like, it's like He's that. a good looking guy too, of course, but yeah. when I talk so about the, talented. I talked about the Smithsonian for Mission Impossible, and he doesn't do a whole bunch of interviews anymore, but he'll walk down the red carpet and he'll talk to each guy like for a minute and a half, two minutes, and he'll take he'll take two hours to do the red carpet, which drives some people crazy. But he takes that uh, very 
close attention to everybody. And one thing you can do then is pick and choose who he wants to talk to. Because sure. he doesn't want to talk to just everybody because he remembers how they treated him in those days, the jumping on the couch days and all that kind of, of stuff. Of course, yes. But I tell you, every, <laughs> the couch days, are, I'll never forget that. Every, every time I see this guy, though, and see a movie that he does, and I know he does these stunts and he flies, he flies a jet like that. We've seen a, a bunch of promotions about that recently. As I say, like, boy, someday you're going to wake up and hear that Tom Cruise maybe had an accident because he does the craziest he's stuff. He's lucky to be world. alive. Yeah, he's unbelievable. He's he really. I mean, you're gonna talk love about the movie, folks. It opens Friday. People who are committed to their craft. I mean, yeah. there's. I don't. I, can you name someone I think more committed in that business yeah. than he is? He's, a, he's like fanatical about th things being just yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. So good for him. Yeah. Good for him. It's gonna be, it's a, gonna be a good movie too. Yeah. I love, love seeing I some of the old. It. It's great. And Jennifer Connelly being in it too. Back. Yeah. That's really cool. Val Kilmer makes an appearance. I does he really make? Yeah. That's wonderful to see, too. Yeah. I always love Val Kilmer. We're going to make you cry. Oh, I love him. We have the same birthday. I share a birthday with Val Kilmer. I know as a kid, I always there loved that. Go.